morning and welcome to Life Less Ordinary. It is a sunny early morning, uh, probably actually not so early, it's probably about nine o'clock. We've been uh, doing weights, getting breakfast, uh, a little bit of schoolwork done inside uh, and the sun has just come out. So what we're going to be doing is coming to let the chickens out and um, we have a few uh, special visitors. The grandkid, two of the grandkids are here. So they're going to help us as well to do this. Uh, so over here we have our chicks that are uh, three weeks old. So Trinity's uh, just getting them cleaned up, letting them out. You can see how big they've grown. They're a little bit pecky, aren't they? These ones, they like to peck. Uh, so at the moment we're still feeding them chick starter. Uh, uh, we let them out just a little bit, but uh, to, to just sort of wander around a little bit, but not too much because we do have an issue with cururongs. Uh, in particular, sometimes the magpies, they will come in and swoop um, and have been known to take the chick. So we do need to be vigilant of that. Um, there we go. One more to go. Where's the other one? Uh, so we do uh, put their feed um, up off the ground a bit. Uh, chickens are notoriously messy. Probably not quite as messy as ducks. Um, but putting their feed and their water up off the rest of the... Um, what's in there? It's all right. Uh, just means that... it stays a little bit cleaner. Uh, Mickey puts. What do you think, Mickey? Which one's your favourite? Do you like them? Um, I like the grey one. The grey one, yeah. And you've got some chicks at home, haven't you? Yes, I've, I've got some... I've got some... One's named Rosie, one's named Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's your one? Um, I, well, they're actually mine, so I named the dark one, like the black one or the blue Rosie. Rosie, yeah. And then Ruben named the other one, the light one, chicken. Chicken, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yours are a little bit smaller than ours. I think you got yours just after, just after Christmas maybe, or in early in the new year. Okay, so we've done these. These are back and safe. Now we need to go and feed and let out the other ones, which are down here. Uh, so I've probably spoken before in other videos about uh, how we do our feed for our chickens. Um, so in one of these red bins here, I have um, a mix that I make up um, of uh, uh, wheat, oats, and lupin. Now, there's probably not as much lupin in this mix that I've put in because I have noticed that they don't really eat it that much. We've moved the chicks that were hatched uh, beginning of November. They're now, they're nine or ten, we ten weeks now. So we've moved them back into um, the bigger pen and they've settled in well. Um, so they're included in our number. So now we have 15 down there. So I'm giving three scoops of this uh, into a bucket and then filling, filling uh, probably by about more, well, maybe about 10 centimetres with water. Um, this one was filled yesterday, the day before, the day before that. This is the one we're using today. Um, and um, it's fermented somewhat, but you see that it's actually quite puffy. It's absorbed a lot of water. Um, and this, we find the chickens are much able to, much better able to digest. So that's how we do it. Uh, now, we could, I do have a bucket. Oh, this one over here. Uh, when S Tobias feeds the chickens, he does use this bucket. Um, and you can see that I have drilled some holes into this, uh, into the base of that. Um, so he likes to drain 
uh, all the liquid off off this um, before he gives the chickens uh, their feed. Um, I personally am happy just to throw the whole lot for the chickens. So before I let the chickens out, I just wanted to show you how I know that the chickens aren't eating the, these whole lupins. So if you have a look here, these are the whole lupins. Um, so, and over there as well, yep. So for me, I don't think it's worth using the lupins. I was using the lupins because of their protein content. Uh, however, we do, uh, with the scraps, there's quite a bit of meat that goes into that. Um, so I'm not that concerned about protein content in terms of egg uh, production. Um, so like I said, I just tip the liquid out um, and then once I've got most of the liquid out, I will just scrape the seed out and spread it out. Have this large area. Right there. So forage around here. So this is where we house most of our chickens. Oh. Always the rooster comes out first. <laughs> And they go straight to the food. <laughs> <laughs> the rooster does his work. Oh. <laughs> we were just watching the, the chickens feed. The kids were telling me about the names that they've given to these ones. So which one? Grumpy. Which are, This one's Grumpy. Why is it Grumpy? Because it looks Grumpy. It looks Grumpy, does it? And then Cranky. Which one's Cranky? Oh, the that. one that just pooped. No, I didn't see that. Which one's pooped? What colour? It's grey. Like that one. That so, one. yeah, that one there. And then that There's one. There's two grey ones. It can't be that one. There's two grey. Grey, yes. grey, grey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that one. one's broody. One. Which one's broody? That one. Oh, that grey one over there. That one's broody. Yeah. And Where's the eyebrows? You keep talking eyebrows about eyebrows. Eyebrows is that one. Yeah, eyebrows is that black one there. So, this, this one here. Yeah, I've got to watch. Oh no, this one here. This one's eyebrows, isn't it? Yeah, that one. Why is it eyebrows? Because it looks grumpy. And it pecks. And it pecks. And that's why I want to have it for dinner. You want to have it for dinner, do you? Uh, so now that we've fed them, I need to refill these. Uh, so, three scoops of the mix that I've made up, and then I will go and fill this up with water. Uh, now, the thing that I forgot to say before was, you'll notice that we no longer have the heat mat for these chicks, so they're four weeks old. Uh, if this was um, maybe in autumn or spring, they would still be under heat. Uh, but because we are in the middle of summer and while it isn't an overly hot summer um, they have been fine for at least a week without heat um, uh, so that just keeps our energy costs down um, one of the benefits of hatching chicks in the summertime is that uh, they won't need to be once the feathers come in they won't need to be on under the heat for quite as long so I'm just going to go over here and up. So that it's about 10 centimetres of water over the top of the seed. The seed does absorb all of the liquid, a lot of the liquid. Um, so every couple of, like every day when I empty out one, um, always checking the other, other um, buckets just to make sure that there is still enough liquid over the top. If there's not enough liquid, uh, it te the seed tends to go mouldy. Um, so then I will just add that to the end of the line and then tomorrow we'll start with that one. So each bucket gets four days to soak, absorb uh, and ferment a bit um, 
So that's all good stuff for the chickens. And whenever I come outside to come and do chores, uh, I always found, find it just calming to be able to just stand and have a look at everything, just to listen uh, and to appreciate what we have going on here. Thanks for joining us as we live our life less ordinary.